What's up you guys, James Strickland here. So I'm gonna bring you guys some how-to videos and uh, this is kind of the first of a series. Uh, I am obviously at a home gym. I like to train in commercial gyms and different gym setups, but during this time, I am kind of quarantined to the house as I'm sure a lot of you are. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I've set my gym up. I know a lot of you guys probably don't have access to the same stuff as far as like a rack, but if you can just set up some of the basic stuff, uh, then that will get you going. But the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how I built a cable pulley system. Uh, it's very, very cheap. It's basically a setup that I bought from Home Depot. There are companies out there that you can buy this, uh, this whole setup from. A lot of them are out of stock, uh, and I could not get that. So I basically built my own for just under $30. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple different variants of the exercises that I can do as well. But I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and tell you guys how I made this cable system. And I'm going to put some links in the description to where you can buy the supplies uh, that I bought. Or at least tell you what I bought so you can look at it uh, in terms of the stores that you have available. So first off, I'm going to show you guys the Finna system. Uh, I, don't, I actually thought about it after the fact. So it's already built, but I can break it down for you guys. So I've got on here two carabiners. And you can buy these from pretty much any store. I'll put the link down in the description to where I bought these. These are the heavy duty ones. They're rated up to like 340 pounds or so. There are some lighter versions that are cheaper, about $2 cheaper per carabiner. Uh, and you, you typically are gonna need two of these for the attachments at the end of the eyelets, one on each side. And you're gonna need two, one for each pulley. So you'll need four total. And uh, I think uh, these cost me about uh, $15 or so total, but these are the heavy rated ones. They're rated up to about four, uh, 340 pounds. Um, you'll also need two pulleys. These pulleys are pretty cheap. They're about $5, 584 or something like that. And they are swivel. So basically when you put them up there, and I'll show you when I put them up what, what the uh, capability is for them, but these are rated at like 420 pounds. So obviously uh, you're limited to the weakest link. And at this point, it's gonna be the carabiner. So if your carabiner's uh, rating is 100 pounds, I don't care what your cable, what your pulley, what your rack is listed at, you're limited to the, the weakest link, if you will, and no pun intended. Uh, so I've got two of these pulleys. They're about five, six bucks each. You can get cheaper ones, but just notice that your rating will change. Typically, you're gonna spend a little more for a little higher rating. Uh, and then the cable itself, I bought a cable kit. So it came with 30 feet of cable. So I've got maybe... Uh, 11 foot or so cut here. I had to actually cut the cable down to size. Um, you can, if you have access to heavy duty wire cutters or uh, cable locks or cable, uh, lock cutters, that would probably be your best bet. Um, I did not. So I can assure you that if you have like a saw, it's probably gonna take longer. It's gonna dull your saw. Uh, but I use an old set of wire cutters and I was able to cut through this. It took me about five minutes on each side to cut it down, but it worked out fairly well. Um, and then I put the, it came with, there's uh, some U-bolts here. I don't know if you can really see that. Basically, these U-bolts here attach the cable to double back on itself and then an eyelet. But all six of these U-bolts, uh, I guess that's what they're called, U-bolts, and then the eyelets and the cable was like six bucks. I could not pass that up. It's rated at like 400-something uh, pounds. Uh, of course, once again, I am limited to the fact that the carabiner is not rated at 400 pounds, so that's what the max load I can be. But this is a simple cable system with a simple pulley system, so you're not going to be lifting 300 pounds. I can assure you that. I have already tried this. It is very, very heavy for me to pick up about 150, 200 pounds. So this is plenty of weight uh, for me to do what I need to do in my own gym as a 670-pound bench presser. So I can assure you if you're doing... Um, anything like I'm doing, this is probably going to suit you just well. It will definitely keep your gains going. Uh, the only thing you'll need is some, some access to put it up on something. So you need either a stud in your roof, in the garage preferably, so you're not putting holes all over your house. Uh, but make sure that that stud can hold whatever the rating is that you're trying to hold on. So I would test it out for sure. Don't be hanging on it, thing like that. But uh, if you have a rack, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing for my rack. Uh, this can be used on the various types of racks, um, rogue, uh, it can be done to half racks, you're just gonna have to set it up a little different. But this is how I attach everything to my rack. So if I'm gonna be doing like lat pull downs, I'm gonna set it up like so. I've got these pins up here. 
And I'm sure if you don't have those, you can figure something out, either a strap to actually wrap over it and hang your carabiner for, uh, hang, hang your carabiner on. One pulley on this side, one pulley on this side. Typically, this is gonna be the side that I'm gonna be putting any of my accessories on and standing over here. On this side here, zoom in over here, I'll show you guys what I've got set up. So basically, I've got a rogue loading pin. If you don't have one of these, you can use a strap. You can actually put it through the weight over here or over here and loop it back around on itself. A lot of different ways you can do it. Just giving you guys some ideas. I'm using what I have accessible. I don't expect you guys to go out and buy a rogue loading pin. These are about uh, $15, $20. Uh, I think you can get it for $20 or so, but once again, they might be sold out. So if you're trying to buy something that's pre-built, good luck right now. Um, but this will hold whatever weight I've had up to about 200 pounds worth of plates on it. But basically I'd set it up on this side of the rack because if I set it up on this side, it'll pull that pin right out. So I'll show you guys with just a simple, I happen to have one of these. If you don't use a rope, use any type of strap that you can possibly think of and you can load it up on this side. But I will show you guys, that's basically the setup. Now, I can do lat pull downs, tricep push downs with this kind of setup. Let's say I want to do biceps. And when I, you know, biceps or side shoulder raises, things like that. Then what I would do is basically take this same cable over here and move it. Now, you got to be careful how much cable you have. I have about 10 and a half feet cut here. But, and I, so I can't put it all the way down to that side because it's not going to work. So I'll put it over here. So in fact, uh, I'm going to set it up like this. And let's say somewhere in this range, this might not be high enough, low enough, depending on what I'm doing. I might have to go lower. There's some different things. Now I have a, basically a wood piece of wood set up here so that it's not hitting my rack. I could put more stuff on this to stack it up higher so that the weight is actually starting higher, allowing me to get more space down here. This for the time being, for what I'm going to show you guys is perfect. So I'm just going to do some setup simple for bicep curls. Now this is probably not the most ideal attachment for a bicep curl, but it's all I have. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna load this up and show you guys what an actual bicep curl on here would look like. So here's some basic bicep curls, nothing big. Um, don't really need a lot of weight on this. It's actually, th these pulleys, the way it's set up is it feels a lot heavier than those double pulleys in the commercial gyms. So I'm going to show you guys a lat pull down here. Um, I'm actually using the squat safety pin to do lat pull downs and secure my legs under there. Uh, as I start getting significantly heavier, I'm going to want that stabilization at the bottom. So I'll show you guys a different view here, just how I'm setting up. You'll notice that I have some bands on the bottom of the plates just to keep it from swaying. Uh, that just helps uh, to keep that down a little bit and it adds some resistance at the uh, top of the, the lift. So I like that, uh, kind of serves a dual purpose. Uh, the one thing I would like to get a little bit more is some range of motion here. So I may be kind of tweaking where the plates are at uh, in relation to the ground just so I can get just a little bit more range of motion. Uh, but it's not bad, it's better than nothing. So uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, another thing I like to do here is tricep uh, pushdowns. Uh, this is only about 110 pounds, but it feels uh, probably about 180, 200 pounds of what I'm used to uh, with kind of the commercial gyms. All right, you guys, so that's basically a simple cable setup. If you want to make it more complex, you can. If you got an extra $20, you can always buy a couple more pulleys. Uh, if you buy that kit, I know there's an extra probably 18 feet or so that I, got, I have to use, but I know in this time, not everybody has a whole bunch of money to spend. So I'm trying to show you guys a couple different options at the cheaper level. Uh, you can spend hundreds of dollars if you want, but basically this will get you going. Uh, I know with my training, I, I heavily rely on a lot of cable stuff. So it's either I'm doing side raises, I'm doing monastery extensions, tricep rope, tricep V-bar. I mean, obviously all the little detachments that you would have, uh, you either have to have those already or acquire those or figure something out. Wood, if you're good at woodworking, is very easy to work with. As long as it can hold the, the weight that you're trying to put on the, uh, the other side of the cable, 
you're fine. That's the one thing I want to urge you guys is to be safe with this. But um, I know at first I was a little nervous, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't load up the weight and start pounding away. I want to make sure that the cable was securely attached. I want to make sure that everything is not coming apart because that can really hurt you. But as long as everything is in place, I think you'll have a great time working out with this cable system. Uh, more to come on uh, my channel. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please do. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely I will bring you some good stuff. If you guys have been with me for a while, I definitely appreciate you guys following me. And uh, for more tips, you know, subscribe. Thank you.